everybody, this is Neil Feiler and I'm here with the, well, not so weekly anymore, you know, but the astrological message, more by lunar cycles. Anyway, this is where I talk about celestial cycles and how they affect all of us, all zodiac signs, that celestial soup we're all swimming in. And this time from October 18th until the 31st, let's say. So what kind of energy do we have in the sky? Um definitely a feisty energy it's definitely not an easy time all through this period we have aries squaring pluto but now as we are heading into this full moon into this energetic peak of the month the moon and the sun join in and mars so they create a t-square in the sky at the time of the full moon with the moon on the 27th degree of aries and Aries on the 24th degree of Aries on the one hand and then uh, we have the Sun on the 27th degree of Libra and Mars on the 24th degree of Libra and then we have Pluto standing in the middle T-squaring both 24 degrees of Capricorn so really a time of turbulence, emotional turbulence, drama, transformation. It could be a time that we feel demands an emotional struggle from us. You know, we say that Mars belongs to Aries and Pluto belongs to, Plu uh, to, to uh, Scorpio and Pluto is the higher octave of Mars. If Mars is our actions on our conscious levels. Pluto is the algorithm that causes us to act the way we do on the unconscious level. It's deeper than Mars. And furthermore, more intense. We say if Mars is anger, Pluto is rage. And when they stand 90 degrees <coughs> squaring each other, this is definitely a time that on a personal level we could feel that we're struggling, that we need to overcome turbulent times, emotional times. But also on a general, more public level, it's a time that conflicts can erupt, turbulations can erupt. Adding Aries and Pluto into the mix with this full moon in Aries in the 27th degree of Aries makes this the height of a very uneasy lunar cycle that started about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. So, let's go down to the days. We begin, um, and, and, and of course, I just want to mention that, you know, as we probably all know, these are the ending days of the Mercury retrograde. All the aspects that have been sown in the beginning of the retrograde are now reappearing in the sky, Mercury's halting to a stop and starting to move forward again and of course these are the hardest days of the retrograde so the 18th mercury opposes chiron it's a very important time for endearing communication for empathic communication because it is a time that we are all especially sensitive and we can get hurt or god forbid hurt others more easily the 19th and the 20th, we could feel the energetic buildup towards that full moon in the 27 degrees of Aries, opposing Mars, squaring Pluto, conjunct Aries. Um, Philip K. Dick wrote once in Demolition Man, enhance your calm. Don't react to things. Breathe in, stop a minute, and look at things. Look at the reasons you feel the way you do. And then think is that the best strategic uh, action I could take. Um, even if you are approached by violence, even if you are approached by anger, even if you are approached by, you know, uh, dramatic frustration and, and you know, um, just anger, a lot of anger, you know, a lot of turbulence, emotional turbulence, don't be the one that heightens the flames. Try to be an island of sanity within this turbulent time. And people ask me, when is this going to get better? That's not a question we could afford to ask anymore. That's, that's the old age. 
It's about making it better now. It's about making it better whatever the circumstances are. It's a totally new energy. It's a totally new energy. We can't run away from things anymore. 21st is still a feisty day. You know, we have the moon joining in, Uranus, and, and, and uh, <laughs> squaring Saturn. So it heightens the square between the two. We could feel the need to walk forward and innovate to release ourselves from the bondage of reality. Nevertheless, that demands of reality are heightened and um, the requirements that we are obliged to follow. The 22nd, we have the exact square between Mars, planet of male energy, and Pluto, the um, Scorpio's, uh, Scorpio's master. And that square is exactly what I talked about when I talked about emotional turbulence, about militaristic or conflictual energies, both on a personal level and on a more public level, and really understanding ourselves more through trial and effort, understanding our needs and wants and cravings more on a deeper level. Although the learning process is not always pleasant. <laughs> 23rd, 24th, great days for getting ahead with your career, for doing things that are strategic, or just a chapter in a book that is something that is a longer project. 24th, actually a good day within this retrograde to sign things or to communicate things. And on the 25th is a trine between the Moon and Jupiter and Mars. A lot of energy there. Try not to be over the top. But there's a good vibration, you know, also with the Sun trining the Moon the next day. And then Venus over the 27th, 28th, she squares Neptune and sextiles Jupiter. And that could give a very spiritual, artistic, creative, naive, romantic feeling to relationships, to relationships we have with others, with ourselves and or with money. Just don't be too utopic and remember the ground you stand on and reality and don't overlook things. The 29th, Mercury already out of retrograde and sextiling the moon. Interesting day for talks, new information with others and then on the 30th the Sun squares Saturn this is a time of reckoning this is a time of judgment of understanding whether we actually plow the field well or did not and it's a great thing to know that a time like this is heading so we could actually prepare things better towards the 30th of this month it could also involve things concerning parents um, bosses or authority figures in your life legal issues as well 31st interesting day good energies in the sky sun and the moon are sextiling each other and then the moon trines uranus good day to let the new in this is about everything i had to say i want to remind you that i do zoom readings <coughs> or private lessons all the time i want to thank you for sharing this and commenting on this as it shares this for more people. This is Nia Feiler. May we all live long, and, and Georgia, <laughs> live long and prosper. Bye-bye.